put them both to sleep. It won't be by my hand. An ancient note. An ancient note. I'm sorry, but I won't be here for the next meeting, or ever again. For that matter, what happened here was unnatural and makes me sick to recall. I left the result of our labors here for you to keep, but I expect that the rats will consume it before you return. Goodbye. Okay, so now... Alright, over... So now, I could get bend time once I get one more rune. Bend time once I get one more rune. Be able to also get possession as well. Whoa! Ah, oh, man! Ah, oh, I messed this up. There we go. Hey, Cecilia, come back here. Wait, 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 wait. Dust here, dust there. Feels like the whole world is dusty. Huh. Good day to you, Corvo. Oh, I don't think I've noticed that tattoo on your hand before. It's interesting. For the restless hand shall be raised against the common good. Huh? Downstairs, upstairs, almost done. Downstairs, upstairs, almost done. Okay then. Gentlemen, it's been taken care of. Oh, there's Martin. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin? Yes. An overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Huh. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. Where? Where is she? The Golden Cat. Oh, you place. gotta be kidding me. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. <laughs> but there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. His the brothers? Twins, Morgan and Custis. I remember that from uh, the Not outsider's controlling Emily, dream. But they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Huh. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Huh. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Oh, Gamble's oh, book here. appears to contain much more than we expected. He was blackmailing a number of highly ranked overseers. With the information in his journal, we will be able to manipulate the religious faction. The Overseers will bend to our will. You've never been to the Golden Cat? No, I suppose not. Me neither, of course. <laughs> oh, me neither, of course. Interesting. <laughs> I won't ask, but the mark on the back of your hand. Are you studying the Forbidden Arts, Corvo? Never mind. <laughs> We're all friends here. That's right, you're not an Overseer anymore, pal. My neck still aches a little from the stocks. But I must say... You created quite an impression on the Overseers during your visit. They are a nervous lot now. Corvo, a moment if I may. Ah, the Royal Protector. Just the man I needed to speak with. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. I'm sure that's uh, tough the horrible for you. Men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Hmm. Further. My brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Huh. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. Oh my gosh, I really? warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the city watch, so it'll be dangerous. Hmm. Now go. 
Please do it before I change my mind. I'm sure it's not easy for you to ask me to kill your own brothers, but... A challenge. Even for someone like you. Six months ago, I was out at the estate hunting with my brothers. Custis and Morgan were always better shots, though one of them nearly killed me. Huh. All for a cruel joke. <laughs> Strange. I never thought I'd be the Pendleton heir, you know. I never expected any of this. By the outsider's eyes, I'm going to drink tonight. Huh. It'll have to be now, I think. With Campbell out of play, they'll move Lady Emily soon. And in a few days, Custis and Morgan will be out at the estate hunting, and we'll never catch them. Hmm. Strange. I never thought I'd be the Pendleton heir, you know. I never expected any of this. Where's Havelock? Where's Mark? Where's Piero? Where's Havelock? Where's Pendleton? Is that Lydia? Yeah, I think so. Was this Havelock and Callista? Ah, you're finally back. Excuse me, Admiral. I was delayed. Pay close attention to your duty, miss. It will never work without Emily. And when she gets here, you will be her nurse and teacher. Huh. In a way, you're more important than Corvo here. Huh. You mean you found her? We have her location. And I'm sure Corvo will whisk her back here in no time. You, Miss Kernow, are tasked with tending to the most important person in the Empire. Tend to her every need. Educate her. Huh. Train her in graces. Cut her meat, if you must. Do whatever is needed. Do basically, you you're the babysitter, Callista. Yes, sir. That's what you're basically gonna, gonna be, is be the babysitter. Hey, Admiral, you got anything to tell me? Admiral? If I were years younger, I'd be doing your job myself. Huh. Don't think I couldn't. I used to climb that rigging like a monkey. Yeah, but do you have the powers of the outsider to help you? No. Wine's no good for a Navy man. I need a proper drink. You know, we met once, back at your old job. Really? State dinner. You wouldn't remember. You were looking after the Empress. Ah, she was beautiful, wasn't she? Yes, she was. A man sees funny things out at sea. The world's not at all like the overseers teach it. Not by a long shot. Give some thought to what you'll be doing when this foolishness is over, won't you? Anything you like. Just name it. It's taken some adjustment to lead a civilian organization such as this. In my younger years, I'd have just ordered my ships to fire on the tower, then drag the Lord Regent to me. Huh. But a bright future does not lay in that direction. Once we've got the daughter of the Empress here, we'll be counting on you to protect her. Of course. Oh, what I'll do when I get my fleet back. I've broken a blockade or two in my time. Huh. Whatever you say. All right, so I think we've talked to pretty much everybody. Heard everything everyone has to say. So you can tell my movement speed overall is definitely a bit faster now. Sam, Sam, my man. Guess where we're going today, buddy? I'll take you to the Golden Cat. <laughs> yeah. Buddy. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. Oh, have you now? All right, let's go. All right, Sam, let's go look for Emily. Put my mask on. Time to infiltrate the brothel. House of Pleasure. The Loyalists believe that Emily is being held at the Golden Cat by the corrupt, aristocratic Pendleton brothers. These men are Lord Pendleton's de despised older brothers, twins, and they are loyal to the tyrannical Lord Regent. Find Emily at the Golden Cat and eliminate Lords Custis and Morgan Pendleton. Ah! 
I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. Yep, I'm sure I will. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Yep. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside Slackjaw, really? <laughs> if he don't kill you. <laughs> this here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. Ah, uh, I've been there. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the Oh, fire. you mean the elixir that Granny Rags had me poison? I'll keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. Oh, I see it. There it is. See it? Look at that thing. If that spotlight sees you, it's gonna fire rockets at you. Yeah, that thing's not friendly at all. Remember what I told you. If you need a man what knows the ins and outs of this city, especially the gutter side parts, you should find Slackjaw. Watch yourself, though. Something you ought to know. There've been more weepers in the area lately. Some plague-sick folks must have been hiding out in one of the warehouses down off Bottle Street. Huh. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell should help the Lord Regent. I guess so. You can't go back till you've taken care of Lord Pendleton's older brothers. Remember? You're not having trouble finding the Golden Cat, are you? Fancy's bar in the shelf. Surprised you don't know where it is. Okay. Oh man, you see what I mean? Look at that, some people just run just making a run for it. And that thing spots them and shoots rockets at them. Oh my gosh. Chaos. Your actions affect the city. A higher number of deaths result in more rats and weepers. Different reactions from your allies and darker final outcomes. So you can see on the left is kind of the low chaos. It's kind of normal because I haven't caused that much craziness. But on the right looks like the high chaos. Uh, more sick people, more rats. But because I've done low chaos in every single mission, it should be pretty, uh, pretty nice, pretty okay. Sneak past this thing and make my way to uh, the, the uh, distillery. 